We continue to follow breaking news this morning of a police investigation into a fatal shooting on East State Boulevard. Jack has been live from the scene all morning long. And Jack, what can you tell us? Yeah, good morning to you, Julianne. Well, right behind me here at that quick stop is where the fatal shooting occurred just around 1.30 this morning. Still early in the investigation, police tell us, but here is what we know. Uh, officers arriving to that convenience store and finding a man suffering from a gunshot wound right by the entryway. By the time medics got in, that man was pronounced dead at the scene. At this point, we have not been able to identify that man. Next of kin first has to be notified before that identification will come out. We're also not sure of the age of the man. We do know, however, that there was an altercation by that doorway, and police believe uh, multiple other males were involved with this shooting and that there are uh, suspects on the run, uh, these suspects fleeing on foot eastbound. Uh, you would imagine that police are, are scouring through security footage here at the quick stop and currently are searching for those suspects that still we have not heard have been captured yet, still on the loose as far as we know. If anybody has any details as to any activity they may have seen around 1.30 this morning off of Hobson and State Boulevard, please do not hesitate to call FWPD or Crime Stoppers at 260-436-STOP-STOP uh, with any details that could just help solve this case. As of right now, Julian, that is just about all we know. We will keep you updated on FortWayneNBC.com throughout the morning and the rest of the day as details trickle out. But again, one man losing his life early this morning after a shooting here at the quick stop off of East State Boulevard and Hobson Road. Okay, Jack, a very sad situation. I'm curious, do you know if there was anybody inside the gas station at the time of the shooting, maybe a clerk or another customer? We've heard that there was a worker in there that, uh, okay. that may have witnessed the shooting. We have not heard any kind of statement from them or, uh, or their role in terms of maybe assisting with the investigation, but we have heard that there was somebody inside the store at the time, so hopefully that will be an asset to police. Yes, we hope it will. Okay, thank you so much, Jack, for that live report.